Welcome to IntelliPath's YouTube channel. In today's session, we will be learning about the differences between Linux and Windows. This session is conducted by an expert having more than 15 plus years of industry experience. So before we move on with our live session, please subscribe to our channel. And also if you want upcoming updates, please hit the bell icon and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. In today's agenda, we'll be looking at what is an operating system, a background of Windows, background of Linux, key differences between Windows and Linux, and finally, we will see which operating system is the best. So let's take a look at what exactly is an operating system. As we all have used an operating system before to interact with the computer, we might feel that we know all there is to know about it, or some of us might be familiar with the use of an operating system and not know the technical details. Regardless, to know the differences between Linux and Windows, both of which are different operating systems, we shall brush up our knowledge on operating systems. An operating system is a system software that manages the computer's resources and provides interface and functionalities for the users. It basically acts as a middleman between the physical hardware of the computer and the user. Now let's see what happens when a computer is switched on. When the computer is switched on, the power supply sends the signal to the motherboard, which in turn activates the boot process. Here, POST or power on self test gets activated and tests every component of the system, whether it is working or not. This is where you might see LED lights turning on and off. Then the BIOS is activated, which loads the operating system. When all the components are loaded, the operating system takes over. Now let's take a look at the background of Windows operating system. During the early 1980s, there was a huge market need for graphical user interfaces. So Microsoft released the Windows operating system on November 28th, 1985. It was based on the MS-DOS or the disk operating system. It later went on to take over 90% of the market share at its peak. Its biggest competition was the Mac OS, which uh, released its operating system in 1984 prior to Windows. Now, this shows the market share of different OS vendors according to StatCounter as on August 2021. You can see that uh, Android leads the way, taking 42.61% 42 of the market share. But uh, this may mislead you because Android is for mobile users and uh, this video concentrates on the operating system for desktops and PCs. So Windows stands at 30.66% and uh, Linux is below 1%. Windows has many families of operating systems like Windows NT, Windows Server, Windows PE and Windows IoT. It also has operating systems for mobile devices, but our focus is on the PC Windows editions. With this, let us take a look at the timeline of Windows versions. First, Windows released Windows 1.0 on 1985. Windows 1.0 1 was just an extension of the MS-DOS operating system. It did not achieve any real success. It had simple applications like calculator, notepad, paint, clipboard viewer, etc. Windows 2.0 was released in 1987. Windows 2.0 adds some changes to the user interface and memory management. It was more successful than its predecessor. It introduced overlapping features like the overlapping windows and sophisticated keyboard shortcuts. Windows 3.0 was released in 1990. Windows 3.0 was more commercially successful than its predecessor, mainly because it allowed the sharing of arbitrary devices among its applications. It introduced a protected mode. It is an operational mode that allows system software to use features like virtual memory, paging, and safe multitasking. Windows 95, which we all know and love, was released in 1995. Windows 95 is known to be the operating system that had the most impact in the world according to Forbes. It supports native 32-bit applications and object-oriented user interface. It was bundled with the infamous Windows Explorer. Though Windows 98 did not become as famous as 95, it introduced support for multi-monitor configurations and the Hibernate feature and other improvements. Windows XP was released in 2001. Windows XP was another major commercial success for Microsoft. Over 17 million copies were sold worldwide just after two months of its release. It was a critically acclaimed OS due to its performance and stability. 
Windows Vista was released in 2007. Windows Vista focused on the security aspects of the already successful features of XP. It gained some criticism due to performance issues and longer boot timings. Windows 7 was released in 2009. Windows 7 had some real updates to the XP with a large number of new features. The Windows shell was redesigned for this version of the Windows OS. Windows 8 was released in 2012. Windows 8 had major upgrades to the user interface. It focused on touch-based hardware devices such as tablets, all-in-one PCs, and so on. Microsoft had to make the icon significantly larger due to the touchscreen devices and then remove the start menu which was not or well taken by the users windows 10 is used by more than 1 billion devices as of march 2020 it bought back the start menu because of public demand and then focused on desktop usage more, uh, rather than the touch based devices some of its features include cortana a voice assistant and microsoft edge a more powerful internet explorer now let us take a look at the background of linux Finnish software engineer Linus Torvalds is responsible for creation of the Linux operating system. He did so when he was still studying at the University of Helsinki as a computer science student. He started his project in 1991 and the official Linux kernel was released in 1994. Unlike Windows which is a proprietary software, Linux is an open source system under the GNU general public license Linux is the OS preferred by hardcore developers and people who like to customize their OS some say it is a preferred OS for hackers it doesn't make sense to talk about the timeline of Linux rather a discussion on the various distros will be more appropriate a distro is short for distribution of Linux OS or you can also call it a flavor It is an operating system made from the Linux kernel along with a package management system. Just a quick info guys. Intellipad provides Linux administration online training mentored by industry experts. The course link of which is given in the description below. Now, let's continue with the session. Package management system is nothing but a collection of software tools that is responsible for downloading, installing, updating and removal of applications in a consistent manner similar to the App Store in Android OS. There are more than 500 distros in active development currently. Now let us take a look at some of the famous distros. Linux Mint. It is a stable and robust OS that is suitable for both new and experienced Linux users. Debian It is one of the oldest distros out there and many distros are derived from it. It has been in the Linux development ec- ecosystem for more than 27 years now. Ubuntu people prefer this distro because of the professional support from the creators themselves. It is used for learning purposes as well as professional use because of its easy to use approach. Apart from these top distros, there are few unique and weird ones on the list. They are Gobo Linux which mimics the Mac operating system, Accessible Coconut which is made for people with disabilities and Bodhi Linux Bodhi Linux is made for visual pleasure Bodhi in Buddhist terms means knowledge or wisdom it contains an earthy and organic theme with appropriate animations now let us take a look at key differences between windows and linux the first difference is the developer the developer for windows is microsoft corporation which is a huge enterprise it has hundreds of developers from the engineering team While the developer for Linux is the creator Linus Torvalds himself along with him a community of passionate developers developed the Linux kernel along with him Windows is written in C++ and assembly language Linux is written in C and assembly language license Windows comes under a proprietary commercial license meaning distribution modification and sharing of the software is not allowed it is a closed source software Linux comes under the general public license. It is an open source software. The source code is made available to the public and accept modifications and contributions. The default UI for Windows is the Windows shell. Since Linux is based on the Unix operating system, it uses the Unix shell. The kernel type for Windows is a hybrid kernel that means it is a combination of monolithic and micro kernel. The kernel used in Linux is a monolithic kernel. The, that means the whole operating system works in the kernel space 
Now you might ask, what is a monolithic kernel? The monolithic kernel uses more running space and the micro kernel uses less running space, but system efficiency is decreased. This is why Linux is best suited for old systems with lower specs. Linux operating system is known for breathing new life into old systems. Marketing target. Windows's target market is personal computing. Linux's target market is for cloud computing, servers, supercomputers, embedded systems and so on. Microsoft is a huge enterprise and focuses on making money while the Linux community provides good software for free. Languages Windows is available in 138 languages but Linux is only available in English. This is one of the factors why the market share of Linux is under 1%. Package Manager The package manager that comes with Windows is the mobile installer .msi and Windows Store the .appx extension. When it comes to Linux, the package manager each distro is built around a package manager. So each distro will have a different package manager. File structure. Files are organized as a tree structure in Linux starting from the root while files are stored in different drives like C, D and E on Windows. File names are not case sensitive in case of Windows but they are case sensitive in Linux. The default command line interface. The default command line for Windows is the Windows PowerShell and for Linux OS it is the bash. The differences between them can be boiled down to this statement. Bash treats output as strings whereas PowerShell treats out outputs as objects. Ease of use. Windows was made to be user friendly. It has an excellent graphical user interface that can be understood by a technical as well as a non-technical person. Linux takes a while to understand. You need to make yourself familiar with Unix commands just to start using the operating system. It has a deep learning curve and takes forever to master. Installation Windows installation is easy and requires fewer user inputs to complete the installation process. Linux installation can become very complicated for many people as it requires a lot of user inputs and user installation. The only downside for Windows installation is, is that it takes a long time to install. Other than that, it is pretty much easy. Privacy Windows collects user data. Linux OS does not collect user data and this reason itself is enough for some users to shift to Linux OS. Pricing The personal single user PC OS of Microsoft Windows costs anywhere between $99 to $199 and the Windows Server family OS for enterprise use can have a starting price of $6,155. Linux is completely free. However, certain distros like Red Hat Linux and SUSE might require subscriptions. Which OS is the best? It would not be fair to come to a conclusion about which OS is the best. Windows has dominated the PC space all over the world for a long time now. It has helped people with non-technical background and had a significant impact on their lives. With ease of use at its core, Windows has influenced businesses and educational institutions and revolutionized these fields. It is safe to say that Windows has helped many countries in their development. Linux on the other hand, which is based on Unix kernel, is used in supercomputers. Embedded systems like security devices, smartwatches, entertainment systems, trains, submarines and many other applications. NASA relies heavily on Linux for its research purposes. Linux OS focuses on a niche that is much different than Windows. Both of the OS has helped the world beyond measure. That is why the phrase you can't compare apples and oranges holds good here. Just a quick info guys. Intellipad provides Linux administration online training mentored by industry experts. The course link of which is given in the description below. So guys, we have come to the end of our session. I hope you all enjoyed it. For any questions that you have related to coding, you can mention it in the comment sections below. So thank you so much for attending this session and meet you in another session. Thank you.